Published, 1949 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of March 2018. Updated, 1949 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of March 2018. The history of Rangers v Celtic is littered with incidents where tensions have bubbled over in the old firm cauldron. Consider Ally McCoist and Neil Lennon's infamous touchline spat in 2011 that sparked a government summit. Or Rangers boss Pedro Caixina rushing to confront Scott Brown on the Ibrox touchline over an alleged elbow on Alfredo Morelos. Pedro Caixina rushed to confront Scott Brown on the Ibrox touchline over an alleged elbow yet while the occasion has been known to push even the most experienced derby veterans to boiling point, there will be no such fears over Greg Doherty when the boyhood Rangers fan samples his first on-pitch taste of the fierce rivalry on Sunday. Those close to the 21-year-old talented midfielder are backing him to keep his cool amid the white-hot old firm atmosphere. Even though a calm temperament wasn't always assured when an occasionally hot-headed Doherty broke through as a kid at Hamilton Ackes. A quiet word in his ear about the importance of channeling his natural aggression would ultimately see him embark on a career path that led to a £700,000 dream January move to Ibrox. And former Rangers defender David McKinnon is in no doubt that the level-headed youngster, who has excelled for Graham Murty in recent matches, will rise to the big occasion in Govan this weekend. Greg Doherty will take his old firm debut in his stride, said McKinnon who, until October, was Hamilton's media and communications director. Greg Doherty samples his first on-pitch taste of the fierce rivalry on Sunday. He will cope with the physical side of the game and the mental side, too, because he is mentally strong. He won't be phased by the occasion at all. He's a very focused and composed guy, but when Greg was first coming through the ranks at Hamilton he would probably admit he had a bit of a short fuse. George Cairns, the head of the youth, and the assistant manager Frankie McAvoy had a private word with Greg and told him to channel his aggression into his play. He did that. He changed his game and it was a big turning point in his career. I watched Greg playing for Rangers against Hamilton recently and I thought he had a good game, but Graham Murty told Greg afterwards that he was trying too hard and that he needed to relax. Greg is an intelligent guy who listens and takes things on board. So it was no surprise to me that in the next game, Greg was the star man. He's been great for Rangers recently and, as a Rangers fan, will be really excited for Sunday's game. Before now, the biggest game of Doherty's young life was last season's Premiership playoff final against Dundee United. Then just 20, he rose to the challenge by scoring the winning goal to preserve Aki's top-flight status. It was an experience that left McKinnon in no doubt the youngster could handle the significant step up at Ibrox. Greg takes responsibility, and that's what's required in an old firm game. Against Dundee United he took responsibility by taking the ball on and having the shot at goal that kept Hamilton in the Premiership. Any player in the Rangers team looking at Greg Doherty in the tunnel on Sunday will know they're getting 100% from him and they will all have huge confidence in him. He's a winner. He's got pace and a good engine. He was a 200 metres runner and could have represented Scotland in the UK if he had persevered with it instead of going into football. Greg was brought up on a passing game at Hamilton. And I've enjoyed seeing him making killer passes for goals for his teammates in recent weeks. They are making great runs and he's got the vision and technique to give them the ball. The passes are harder to spot in an old firm game because it's played at such a high speed. But Greg sees passes early and he'll be fine. McKinnon believes Doherty is destined to be a Scotland international. And he insists there's no time like the present when Alex McLeish names his squad on Monday for friendlies against Costa Rica and Hungary. There are enough really good young players in Scotland right now. There's an opportunity for a new era. Alex may be thinking about having a look at the younger players in these friendlies. If he wants to build a team around young players then the country would really get behind that. Greg Doherty would be part of it, I have no doubt about that. McKinnon drew on his own personal old firm experience as he offered advice to the other potential Rangers debutants, like Russell Martin, Jamie Murphy, Sean Goss and Jason Cummings. My old firm debut was in front of 60,000 at Parkhead in torrential rain in October. 1982, I had just had my head split open against Hearts in the previous game so I had a strapping on my head. Towards the start of the game one went to close down Charlie Nicholas and he elbowed me in the head and split it open again, and I got booked for it. I couldn't believe it, we lost 3-2 but it was a terrific game and I still say Rangers were the better team that day. What I would say to any old firm debutante is that nothing can prepare you for it. It's very easy to get caught up in the atmosphere. The minute you walk out it's just an incredible atmosphere and the butterflies are suddenly turning in your stomach. You have to focus 100%.
Just try and get your first touch, your first tackle, your first pass out of the way, make sure you keep your concentration and try not to make any mistakes. You can't afford them in an old firm game because they will be punished. Asterisk David McKinnon presents Talking Football on Rocksport Radio along with Bill Young and Murdo McLeod. Visit www.rocksportradio.co.uk http colon slash slash www.rocksportradio.co.uk